Hello everyone, this is Nate from Christie's RV. Today we're going to be going through this 2015 X17Z J Feather Ultralight. So first thing you'll notice at the front of the trailer is you have your hand crank. Behind that you have your battery box. Battery is already all hooked up in it. Up front here you have two 20 pound propane bottles. You could always upgrade the 230s if you would like. In between the two propane bottles you have your crossover regulator. So if you have both of your propane bottles on, if whatever one it's pointing at is the bottle it's going to draw from, if that bottle runs out of propane it will automatically switch over and start running off the other tank. Come around to the front of the driver's side. You have your hot water tank. Before you pull your drain plug on your hot water tank, you want to make sure you let the pressure off with your pressure relief valve. And then you can take your plug out. Behind your hot water tank is your outdoor shower. Beside your outdoor shower, you have your potable water fill. So that's if you want to haul water with you, you just put a garden hose in there or a funnel and you can just bucket some water into it. When you're done with that water and you want to drain your tank up underneath the trailer, there's a drain. You can just put it to either side and it'll drain your tank out for you. Below the potable water here is your city water fill or city water connection. So if you have a pressurized hose, that's where you would connect that. Beside the city water, you have your furnace exhaust. You just want to make sure you don't put anything in front of it because it does get hot. Above that, you have the back of your fridge. You just want to make sure you don't put anything in front of that so that your fridge can breathe. Right behind the axle is your cable TV satellite input. So that's where you would hook up if your campground has cable or if you have your own satellite dish. At the back of the driver's side you have your port for your 110 power cord. It's roughly 30 feet long and above that you have a nice little place to put your sewer hose. Come around the back while we're back here to drop your bed. Just pull your two handles out. Then you can drop your bed down. I'll show you the rest when we go inside. Just on the side of the door here, you have your outside outlets. They are GFI protected. So if any water gets in there, it'll trip and you can reset them. And then underneath there, you have a cable TV outlet. So if you want to put a TV outside, you can just hook up there and have all your channels outside. And let's head inside. So right when you're coming inside the door, you have your fire extinguisher on the right. On the left, you have your CO detector. I just pre give a button a button press every time you go out camping to make sure it's all working. Up underneath that, you have your power station. So on the left here is all your 110 breakers. And on the right is all your 12 volt fuses. Up on the right you have your two light switches. The one on the left will be for your inside lights and the one on the right is for your outdoor light. Coming into the kitchen you got your sink. To the left of your sink up top you got your microwave, 
works like any household microwave. Below that you have your range hood, the light, and a fan. Then you got your stove. To light your stove top, you just put it to light. Give it a flick. For your oven, your oven has a pilot light. So to light your oven, you just put it to pilot, push it in, wait a few seconds, then you reach in with a lighter. At the back there, and then once that's lit, you can just let go and then put the stove to any temperature you would like. The oven, sorry. Right by the microwave, you have your crank for your antenna. You can put your antenna up and then just pull down to move it around. Beside that, you have your AC. So for your AC, the button here. We'll control the fan, and the other one will control the temperature. For your fridge, you want to turn your fridge on, so when it's the little dot up in just the corner that says LP is just gas, so it will run just straight off propane. When you have your line on both of them on the left, that's auto, so your fridge will run off 110. If you lose power, your fridge will automatically switch back to gas, and then if you get your power back, it'll switch back to 110. Below the fridge, you have your output for your furnace, and just a nice little cubby. Here you got your stereo, works like any car stereo. Up here you have ABC, C will be your outdoor speakers, and then A and B are your indoor speakers. Right beside your stereo, you have your panel, so here First button on the left will tell you how much battery, how much your battery is charged. One on the right is your fresh tank, your black tank and gray tank. Just tells you how much you have in your tanks. Little red button here on the left is your water pump. So if you're hauling water with you, you flick it on and then you can use your sinks like normal. One in the middle is your hot water heater on propane. And the one beside that will be electric. If you run out of hot water and you like it to come back faster, you can click both of them on and they'll piggyback up off each other to get your water faster. Beside that, you have a hookup for a 12 volt TV. When you're just grabbing off the antenna, you wanna make sure you have the booster on. A little green light will come on. Down here you have your thermostat. To turn your thermostat on, you have to push this little button up top to the left. It is hard to push. You'll feel like you're gonna break it, but just give it a good push. And then at the bottom you can pick your temperature for your furnace. That's that. So for your bed, we put it down outside, then you want to come inside, and you want to push this bar back, but you want to use, so you want to use the bar that comes with it, and it just clips in, and then you can give it a push out. I think that's about it. Thank you for shopping with us at Christie's.